Banks Robbed by Microsoft Word? Welcome to my channel. I'm Brian Pincus. Thanks for checking in with us. In 2015, a malware variant called DridX started to catch the attention of the malware research community. DridX is a banking trojan which steals online banking usernames and passwords. In 2015 alone, it was used to steal more than $40 million worldwide. At that rate, I'm surprised Wells Fargo didn't come up with this idea. Now, in all fairness, Dridix has been mainly focused on banks outside of the US. It's installed on a machine by users who receive an infected email attachment and then disable Microsoft Word's built-in security protections. Although more recently, they have updated their malware to be able to run even with Word security protections in place. While Microsoft provides patches and security companies develop tools to prevent these attacks, the cyber criminals who create them update their malware in a never ending game of cat and mouse. Since these cyber criminals are constantly evolving, there is little that you can do to ensure that you're just absolutely 100% protected. But there are some steps that you can take to make yourself less of a target. So let's go through them. Number one, install the latest updates for your software and operating systems. Number two, delete suspicious emails if they have attachments or links. Number three, pay attention before turning off protected view, disabling security software, or enabling macros. Speaking of enabling macros, the typical user should almost never need to enable a macro. So if an email or website is advising you to do so, you probably should run the other way. And lastly, number four, install security software with real-time protection. If you're still unsure about whether or not your system is compromised, send me a DM and I'll get you in touch with one of our techs. Now listen, don't miss out on one of these important updates merely because you didn't take the time to subscribe and turn on notifications. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and Facebook as well, and I'll see you next time.